What is up guys? Welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. Yes, I'm aware it has been a while, but I am going to be back very soon frequently on this YouTube channel. I will tell you guys more about this at the very end of this video as well, but I think it's important for now to give you guys updates a lot of you guys message me where are the videos why aren't you posting videos anymore um are you okay even <laughs> but first of all if you follow me at instagram at wesley Vissers, you can uh, check my stories you can see what i do every single day so very quickly the reason why i'm not able to post as many videos on my youtube channel right now is it requires some editing work and that's a lot of hours and a lot of filming hours, and both of those were previously allocated to my cameraman, Niels. But uh, right now, he's in the process of moving homes, moving houses, so I respect that. And, you know, because we work together so well, and since the prep has just started, the best footage is yet to come. He is going to take a few weeks to move houses properly, so because then, he will actually have all the time in the world to film for me. I'm also, as you guys may have known, have started my Dutch YouTube channel. The Netherlands are starting to become more and more interested and more popular in terms of bodybuilding, fitness in general. So it would be foolish of me living in the Netherlands not to make use of that, but because I'm doing that and also um, not having a cameraman right now, it's been quite difficult to get footage up. Having two children, also doing coaching, work with the nutrition plans, and being a professional bodybuilder in prep, all of it is quite a lot of work. And uh, you know, balance truly is key, even though I'm a professional bodybuilder. It still is very important, as you can hear, I'm not alone in this. So you can expect a lot more footage on this channel. But anyway, today I'll be showing you one of my chest workouts. In that chest workout, I'm already in my prep. So you can see kind of what I'm doing for the workout, my post-workout meal, stuff like this. And as always, whatever you wanna see, let me know down below. But for now, enjoy the video. All right, guys, let's dive straight into this chest workout. Starting out with the incline chest press. I love this movement. I've been doing this for literally 15 years because the gym I'm there at, it's called Van Drunen, is actually the gym I started out at when I was 14 years old. And this very machine, along with all the others, are still there. So that's amazing to re-experience those machines. But anyway, as you can see, as I go upwards with the handles, the handles converge, meaning they go inwards. And when handles go inwards, you can actually squeeze the pecs a lot better, as you can see. However, um, as opposed to in the past where I went all the way up, which also includes the shoulders, puts pressure on the elbows, I don't go all the way up anymore, but as you can see, I still squeeze the pecs as much as possible, but also focus a lot on the stretch here because if you want a muscle to grow and it doesn't really grow even though you're using full range of motion and you're feeling it very well, sometimes sticking more to the stretch going up to like 80 or 90% and don't squeeze purposely as hard if you therefore can't do many reps in the stretched part, it might be worth it to try and stretch the muscle a bit more and see how that works for you. The next one is also a machine, but also, once again, with converging handles, but this time a flat chest press. Also feels very amazing, but very heavy as well. I'm almost using four plates aside, but trust me, it may look uh, easy, these reps, but they are very, very difficult. So most importantly, go all the way down, feel the stretch in the chest, and when you're going up, you want to feel the contraction in the chest as well. And here, actually squeezing does feel really good. So when you're, you know, when you're doubting about the amount of weight you're using, when you're like, oh, maybe this is too heavy, you have to go full range of motion first, control the weight throughout the entire range of motion, and then you are allowing yourself to go as heavy as that, the stretched part, because if you only go super heavy and only focus on the stretch, it might actually be too heavy, and that could injure your muscle, which is a nightmare of every bodybuilder. 
But as every set and every workout that I do, um, the first set is usually a heavier set. Usually the one and two working sets, the first one are the heavier sets, and then I'm doing some back off sets afterwards. However, on this seated dip machine, I had to use the full stack and it was still quite easy to do. In that case, you truly want to go full range of motion because that will make it more difficult. And it also give, provides a great pump. So whenever a machine you feel like is too light, remember up to 30 reps to failure still grows just as much muscle as you know the 10 to 12 rep range which everybody loves. So whenever you encounter a machine that is too light, simply maximize the range of motion, maximize the mind, muscle connection, get a maximum pump and you will still grow an enormous amount of muscle. Here you can see that I'm actually using that full stack. So I'm going all the way up. And as I'm going up, my body is rocking forward a little bit, emphasizing that stretch. And when I'm going down, I'm actually moving my body backwards, emphasizing the contraction. I actually made a reel about this on my Instagram page at Wesley Vissers, if you want to see it in a bit more detail, but that allows you to actually get an even deeper range of motion by rocking your body back and forth. The next movement is the uh, you know, laying fly machine, basically. This is incredibly heavy, guys. I remember this from back in the day. I used to do 10 kilos to failure with a lot of reps, and this is a killer exercise. And it's a great one to finish your chest off with because it's an isolation movement. And it's an isolation movement. That means you can truly finish that muscle that you're focusing on until you can't go on anymore, ensuring your mindset that you actually went all out on this. And by the way, if you want to see the entire workout that I did, check it in the uh, description down below because I'm not showing you every single work set in this workout because that will be quite repetitive, quite boring. But yeah, this one is a killer exercise. And after the chest we're moving on to the triceps i've been doing this one for quite a while now why because as i'm getting older more years under the weight basically my joints have been taking quite a beating um you know especially the elbows but i don't feel them right now and that is because i'm using exercise like this if you look at the cable it aligns perfectly with my upper arm, which means the triceps are heavily involved and there's no unnatural torque on the elbow. Whenever you're doing a skull crusher, for example, you know, it, you, you, the gravity goes straight down, as always, but your elbows point to the side, which means there's a strange force on your elbows operating and then it doesn't feel as good, as healthy, or as pain-free on the elbows after a couple of years, which is what I'm experiencing right now. However, on certain movements, it still feels great to not perfectly align the upper arms because that is a honestly a boring way of training. So with this rope overhead extension, I'm still using kind of like an intuitive motion that simply feels good. Go all the way back because this one is focusing on the long head of the tricep. We're doing a frontal bicep that the hang of the tricep is what you want to focus on, and that requires a very good stretch. And of course, doing some posing in between the sets. And this is right at the beginning of my contest prep, so the fullness is definitely still there. Body fat, water, all still present. But as you can see, the conditioning is a lot better than the previous time that I did start a contest. So I'm very, very happy about that. And things have been going quite quickly so far. But anyway, the next movement is a side double level raise. I did three works is there. Just showing you a couple of reps here because I first go heavy. Right now I'm going a bit lighter. And the moment that I'm hitting failure, you just see what I'm about to do. So I'm about to hit failure there. And then I'm moving to one arm at a time. The difference here is that it allows each arm to rest because the other arm is doing the rep. It extends your set. Why can you do that here and not on any other compound? Because this doesn't cause any fatigue overall. It only causes local fatigue in the muscle, which is exactly where you want it. And the side nails can simply take a lot of beating and still grow. 
Now, of course, doing some more poses in some different lighting. This is more of daylight coming out of the window in front of me. So it's always nice to check yourself out in natural lighting. And I can already see through the top layer of a bit of fat and a bit of water. That mass has definitely been built, which I'm very, of course, very happy about. Because the off season is where you're building the muscle and the counter spread is where you're showing it. All right, guys, that was a great chest tricep and side delt workout and of course after the workout is done for the it's time for the post workout meal which is right here it's getting smaller and smaller this is a pretty small bowl in comparison to what i used to have before so this is only 100 grams of cream of rice but of course the most delicious thing is the chocolate this is designer way dark cookies and cream link down below to give it a shot trust me guys if you try this flavor once you will never want to go back the flavor and the quality are both incredible and then we have some frozen fruit beneath and that's basically my post-workout meal no more dark chocolate because we're moving all the excess calories from places where they don't need to be now it's only about recovery the carbs the fruits for health and extra carbs and of course the protein combined digest really easily but as you can see i'm in a different location i'm actually at my mom's house who is filming right now because kane is on a holiday to tenerife but that means that the packages needs to be still packed which he and my mom usually do but now i'm the one who uh, helps with that so this computer here is for printing all the labels and after this we're just going to go to the warehouse, pack all the clothing, and uh, yeah, then send the packages. So when you have ordered in these two weeks, there's a big chance that I helped packing your own package. So thank you very much for the incredible support. And uh, it's amazing to still have this family business strong and running and uh, getting better and better each year. But anyway, let's eat this and enjoy. Okay, we are currently in my own gym in the office above and I want to talk to you guys about I will be uploading a lot more videos in about a month because then my cameraman will be fully available to me to briefly tell you guys about the situation. So me and my cameraman called He's called Niels. We uh, were together at the beginning, kind of on a friendly basis, basically. So he wanted to film for me, and I, w I needed some uh, videos, of course, for YouTube, and we decided to work together for me, for my videos, and for him to get more known within the fitness space. And, uh, you know, after pretty much a little over, well, maybe two years or so, it uh, started to evolve more and more, and now it's truly a serious relationship, both friendly and business. But right now, he still is in the process of moving to his new home. But once that is complete, he also gave up his original job, and he's now going to work full-time as a videographer a big bulk of his time will be dedicated to me so as you guys may know i've also been doing dutch videos because i want to also focus on my own heritage where i'm from the netherlands it's becoming bodybuilding it's becoming a lot more popular here in the netherlands as well it would not be it would not be wise not to focus on the market here but of course without you guys internationally mostly in the usa but also the uk uh, other countries in Europe, pretty much all over the world. Without you, I would not be where I am today. So trust me, a lot of videos are coming your way as well. A lot of updates. Follow me on Instagram because I do post daily stories where I pretty much post everything that I do from the food that I eat, the training that I do, supplements that I take. Uh, Q and A's that I do, etc. So if you want to stay up to date with me personally, you can uh, follow me on Instagram at Wesley Vissers. You can check it down in a link below in the description below. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys because you deserve to know what's going on. Sometimes things don't go as quick as you wanted to because right now I'm about 14 weeks out from my contest and things are starting to change for the better in terms of conditioning, shape, updates in how I do things, uh, you know, and, and a lot more, which I want to show you guys, but trust me, once I am back to this channel 100%, I'll be able to show you the quality again as you're used to, 
and more. Because now with me and Niels, the cameraman, working together a lot more, the quality will increase exponentially and the frequency of uploading will be as much as we can possibly handle. Short videos, reels, etc. So expect a lot of content. And once again, if you want to see anything specific, let me know down below. Mostly it'll be the workouts that you all guys are familiar with, including some full days feeding, etc. But anyway, Thank you a whole lot for your golden support and don't forget to stay golden.